Six Honest Serving Men This poem by Rudyard Kipling is a tribute to a child's curiosity. It is the inquiring child in us who helps us gain knowledge and learn different things. I keep six honest serving men. They taught me all I knew. Their names are what and why and when and how and where and who. I send them over land and sea. I send them east and west. But after they have worked for me, I give them all a rest. Serving men means servants. In this stanza, the poet personifies the question words what, why, when, how, where, and who as honest, hard-working servants who help him to learn. Here, land and sea, east and west signify places all over the world. The word new in the second line is used in the past tense. It is to tell us that though he gained knowledge with their help as a child, yet after having grown older, he often gives the six honest serving men a little rest. I let them rest from nine till five, for I am busy then, as well as breakfast, lunch and tea, for they are hungry men. But different folk have different views. I know a person small. She keeps 10 million serving men who get no rest at all. The poet goes on to say that he lets them rest from 9 till 5. That is the regular work hours and humorously includes mealtimes as well. Saying that the six serving men also feel hungry and need to eat. He actually means that as we grow, we ask fewer questions and get busy with routine work. Thus, learning also takes a break or a back seat. However, rest also is an indication of grown-up people's complacency about their knowledge. When he says, but different folk have different views, he means to say that though he refrains from asking questions, it is not so with children. They, unlike him, do not give their curious minds any rest. He gives reference to a person small, that is, a child whom he knows. She keeps these servants, referred to as 10 million serving men, busy all the time. It signifies that children's questions are endless. She sends them abroad on her own affairs. From the second she opens her eyes. One million hows, two million wheres and seven million whys. Sends them means sends them. In this stanza, the poet continues to talk about the refreshing curiosity of children. They ask questions from the time they wake up till the time they sleep. Even before one question is answered, they come up with more. Overall, the poem is a glorification of childhood, a stage in which man learns the most. In contrast, to the adult stage in which the gradual lack of interest in worldly affairs leads to stagnation of knowledge. The poet wants to say that we should keep on questioning and never lose the child in us.